Welcome back, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new, come on in. I'm the Empress. I'm here to do a general read for you guys. We're going to start off. We're going to get a collective message here, and then we'll jump into the tarot. So we're going to see how um, Divine Masculine feels about the Divine Feminine. The timing just wasn't right for us. The timing just wasn't right. Okay, so you and this person, y'all are separated. Y'all are currently in separation. They're saying, look, the timing just wasn't right for us. But they say you came closer than anyone. And I feel like they're trying to bury themselves and work to forget about you. Okay? They're burying themselves in work to forget. Okay? So they're trying to they're trying to stay busy so they can forget about the relationship, trying to forget about how, what the promises and things that they made to you. But we finna jump into it. We finna see what's really going on. Oh, okay. So we got unrequited love and romantic feelings right here. So the feelings aren't the same, okay? So they feel like the feelings aren't the same. Like it's not the same anymore. That's what I'm getting. Like they feel like it's not the same, okay? Healing family issues. Release your ex. Give your relationship a chance. Um, it looks like this masculine definitely is trying to let this situation go. Okay, so they're trying their best. They're trying their damnness. Like, they're struggling trying to release you. Because there's still attraction here. There's still passion here. But they're dealing with somebody new. I feel like they are going to come back around to give this relationship another chance and work on a partnership. But I feel like they are currently dealing with somebody. There's a new person in the picture. So let's see what's going on. How they feel about this new person. I feel like this new person could be helping them with their finances. We got finances and career. Uh, we got engagement and then very soon. So it looks like this masculine um, wants to either get engaged to this karmic or this other party. Or they're wanting to take things to the next level. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. They could just be taking things to the next level with them. But I'm getting a lot of playful energy. So I'm getting like playing, pretending, because we got playfulness and making effort. So it's like playful energy. Like this, this other party may feel like this masculine is taking this connection seriously, but I feel like this masculine is like give really giving the bare minimum. Okay, I really feel like this masculine is giving the other person, this new person that they're dealing with, like the bare minimum. What else? I feel like this masculine is paying attention to some type of red flags. Um, when it comes to you, I feel like it could have something to do with religious factors because religious factors is here. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So there's something here about possibly about you being spiritual about your belief system that this masculine is like these are red flags so he's decided to take back control of his life and deal with somebody new he went to somebody new but i don't feel like the connection 
Yeah, we got retreat. So he's taking a break from the connection. But we got reconciliation right here. I feel like once he gets his finances together with finances and career, he's going to want to reconcile. He's going to want to come back. But it looks like this other, this new person that he's dealing with is helping him with his finances. Helping him get balanced financially. I feel like this person could also feel like, you know, their relationship could go to the next level, level up. And the masculine is giving like playful energy. So let's see what action this masculine um, is wanting to take towards divine feminine. right here oh ten of wands <laughs> so this masculine you see how it dropped right on out the deck the ten of wands is saying look i'm dropping it i'm ending this okay it's too much so this masculine feels like it's too much like he feels burdened by the connection yeah, he's wanting something new. He wanted something new. He wants some different energy. Now, although I feel like he wanted some new energy, I still feel like he's dealing with some regrets. I'm I'm hearing that you and I feel like this other party knows about you. We got the high priestess and the nine of swords. I think it makes him feel some type of way because Maybe this masculine had this other person waiting for a while. But I'm hearing, I don't remember the last time we spoke to each other. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, he's taking his time, taking his slow, slow little time. Okay, because he's dealing with, he was dealing with a third party. He was dealing with someone on the side. That's why he left the connection. Yeah. For some of you, is a marriage or some type of commitment. Yeah, he decided he wanted to make some changes. I see him waiting. He was like waiting for something better to come along. Um, so he could feel good about himself. So he was he was waiting to see if like he could find somebody that could top you. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Ace of Wands. Okay, yeah, there's a new offer. On the table, or there will be a new offer on the table eventually. Okay, but um, tell me more about this offer the Fool and the Seven of Wands. Okay, there's a new offer on the table. I do see that he is in connection. We got the uh, Ten of Cups here. But he feels like the best thing to do right now is to kind of give you some space. And I feel like it's going to be like for a while. Like it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while because this masculine also is trying to prove a point as well. 
He's trying to prove a point. Yeah, he... <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm hearing, I know how you think. You waiting for me to struggle. He's saying everybody mess up sometimes. But he said that you, he know how you think. He said he know that you waiting on him to struggle. <laughs> the emperor, I told you. He said he know how you think. He said he gonna work his ass off. And he gonna prove a point this time. He said he got a point to prove. And he said you're gonna be surprised when he wins. Six of wands, five of wands. Yeah. He said this time he gonna win. He said he gonna win this time. Well, there is a comp there is this masculine is in competition with you. He's putting you in competition with a new person. <laughs> this masculine mad with you like feel some type of way but he said he gonna win this time he said he gonna surprise you he got a surprise for you he said he got a trick for you this time so he is using a new person to try to um put you up against i see a lot of manipulation he's using manipulation tactics with the seven of swords and the king of cups could be a capricorn um with the devil here and the queen of wands could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries that he's dealing with, but they are in a connection with that two of cups. And it feel like it's because I'm getting, um, feel like it's fair game. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing you should have waited. Um, you think you better than everybody because somebody got low self-esteem. Somebody got low self-esteem. It's not. It's definitely not the divine feminine. Somebody else got low self-esteem. Because you could come up with all these ideas like that back to back. But, oh, he's talking, oh, he talking, 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 talking. <laughs> this masculine here is feeling some type of way. This, this, some of y'all was sleeping with the enemy. Some of y'all was sleeping with the enemy. When I tell you this masculine doing everything that he can, six of wands and the five of wands, he doing everything that he can to try to outdo you. He doing everything he can to try to break your spirit and break you down because he said you're too confident. You got too much confidence for y'all not to be together. Okay? So he dropped you to try to make you feel some type of way and make it seem like he just wanted something new, like you wasn't that, you wasn't that girl. But the thing about it is, is he coming up against you. He got everybody else trying to come up against you. He got to get all of these people to try to come against one person. But the thing about it is, is what God got for you, can't nobody take it away from you. And that's what people need to understand. That's what people need to understand. Let me see how he really feel about this other party. Don't believe the rumors you hear about me and the karmic. <laughs> but he said he had to make you look bad to the karmic to save his ass. Okay. What else? So he had to talk shit about you and make you look bad. So the karmic won't feel no type of way. She treats me like a kid and thinks that I like it. She's constantly pacifying me. My karmic tries to make me feel guilty about everything that makes me happy. I just don't understand. Stressed out. My karmic is stressing me about you. She bugs. Mm -hmm. Miserable. I know she's miserable but won't leave. That's all on her. 
She miserable, but won't leave him. And she won't leave him because she got a point to prove. And he ain't going to leave her because he got a point to prove. And he feel like until he get that point across, until it just becomes so unbearable, then he ain't going to make no move because he be too busy trying to prove a point. Both of them. Too busy trying to prove a point. Let's see what's brewing. What's going on with the masculine and his new love? What's going on with the masculine and his new love? Keeping a promise. So he done made her some type of promise. And he said he going to keep the promise. What's the promise? What's going on? What else going on between this masculine and I mean masculine and this new person? She a bugaboo, but I feel like um, she may have him under some type of spell. We got under spiritual attack, fighting off negative energies, fighting spiritual warfare, needing to clear your energy. What else? She keep bugging him. About where he at, what he doing, what because he's running away, okay. But he's trying to keep some type of promise that he that he told her, you know, something that he was going to do. He's trying to keep a promise. I thought I saw a car flip over. There you go. Fighting for what you love, claiming what's yours. Love is a battlefield. See this, like I said, this uh this new person. She not ready to give up yet. She gonna fight. She ain't ready to give up yet. I feel like this bugs him. Um, she's constantly on his ass all the time. Trying to find out where he at. What he doing. We got to get in the room. And staying centered. Align yourself. Okay, so I feel like maybe... They just got together. They just got a room together to try to rekindle things. Um, and that could have been the promise that that he made her. Yeah, we got sex shop and over it. Okay, so somebody's over getting played. So the karmic is over getting played, played with and trampled over. Um, she's going to eventually get to that point, but she's fighting it out. She's fighting it out. The masculine over here trying to keep a promise to her that he made to her. Um, and it's actually bugging him. Like, I feel like he really want to run away. We got caution. He really wants to run away see we got kicked to the curb he really trying to get to get out of the situation but she keeps drawing him back in okay getting centered coming in after you destroy so it's like when things fall apart she does whatever she needs to do to fight for the connection to keep him around so she fight for the connection they go get rooms and she do whatever she need to do to bring the the passion and everything back into the connection. So this masculine don't know if it's salt or sugar. He don't know. He don't know really what it is about her that he like. Looks can be deceiving. Be careful. They both look the same. Sex shop. See, he don't know if it's lust or love. He don't know. He don't know. But somebody about to get tired of being played in the situation. Okay, so that's what I got, y'all. If you're interested in booking a personal, my contact information is in the comment section below. It's pinned. All right, $25 for newbies. If you're new to the channel or if you have never booked a reading with me before, $25 to jump in. Okay, so I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.